Hi and welcome to video number six. In this game we're going to have a counter that counts down. Once the counter hits zero, you the game will end. So again it's a feature that can add complexity into a game. So we, we, we're going around collecting the coins and hope and we could limit the amount of time we got to collect coins. Then we can add more complexity like a maze with, with the barrier exercise we did and the very next lesson after this one i'm going to show you how to add an enemy into the game that, that will follow you around um there are there are plenty of timers that you can find in the agk forum and again in the help guide there is a timer in there timer is something that i've struggled with but um in building today's lesson i finally got got to grips with it so I'll show you the code that I've been using for a, for a very basic timer. So the first thing we we needed to do was you need to put in time equals six. So we'd want 60 seconds or whatever, but I've put in time equals six seconds. And then I put in time hash equals timer. And again, if you if you go to the to the help guide, um you should you you'll find that you'll find how the how the the inbuilt timer command works. The next thing I need to do is put in a go sub. So go sub game timer, and then I'll just copy the last piece of code in and then explain what I've done. This timer routine you could use over and over again. So game timer. So the first thing we need to do is work out our current time. Um, so the current time equals the timer. So so basically current time is is the is the is the computer's time. And then what I've done is print time minus the current time. So I've set time at the top here to to six, and I've set current time to be the time that is that is on the computer and so what happens is is that is that it, it takes the time which i've set as six and then i've reduced it um by the current time and then i've said if the current time minus minus the time that that, that i'm counting down to equals zero synchronize the timer and end and end if and what should happen is now it should start at six and after six seconds the game should end. Uh, obviously we'd want more time than that but this is for illustration purposes of this lesson. And so I'll compile that and run it and we've got six seconds and, and that was it. it. It ended after six seconds and so We've now got another feature in our in our in our game where we can where we can implement timers, and again we can add complexity to the, to, to complexity to the game. So we could always say the the that there's bonus points. So if if you if you collect something, you can increase your time, um, and that will give you more time within the game. Uh, the next lesson, then uh, we'll talk about some some enemies chasing you around, and that that will make the game a bit more difficult. I uh, hope you found this lesson useful. Thank you very much.